One of our most influential Dubliners was Sir William Rowan Hamilton. When he discovered quaternions, he not only liberated algebra, but he made complex numbers simple. His impact is still being felt today. The influence of quaternions can still be seen today. Astronautics, robotics, CGI, animation. Not forgetting computer visualization where the online gaming industry is worth over $100 billion annually. If you have a smartphone and take selfies, then you have been impacted by Hamilton. So William Ron Hamilton was born on the 4th of August, 1805, in a house in Dominic Street, Dublin. My name is Ernie Beggs. I'm standing at the Royal Canal in Dublin. Many a year ago, when I was a kid, I used to walk along this canal with my parents on the way to my granny and granda, who lived in Carnlock Road, Cabra, 200 yards from here. 175 years ago, another man walked along this canal, and his name was Sir William Rowan Hamilton. His parents were Sarah and Archibald. Archibald was a solicitor in Dunboyne. At the age of three, his parents sent him to his uncle, James. James was a linguistic, and under his tutelage, Sir William Rowan Hamilton thrived. At the age of 13, he had as many languages as he had years. At the age of 18, he entered Trinity College Dublin where he studied classics and mathematics. He achieved two op teams with the highest grades possible. Practically every day, he would walk along this canal, the Royal Canal in Dublin. He would ruminate over mathematical formulas. Quaternions was a particular issue. He just couldn't solve the problem. When in a flash of genius on the 16th of October, 1843, while walking with his wife, it came to him, Eureka, he had finally discovered the fundamental formula for quaternion multiplication. Lest he forget the formula, because he knew its implications would be huge, he picked up a pebble and to this bridge he came and cut out the formula. I equals j squared equals i j k equals minus one. One of the most influential Dubliners of all time, Sir William Rowan Hamilton, died on September the 2nd, 1865, and he is buried at Mount Jerome Cemetery. This plaque that we are looking at now, under the bridge, was unveiled by the Taoiseach Eamon de Valera himself, a mathematician and student of Quinternians, on the 13th of November, 1958.